video lecture because I think this is just too much information to um, convey in class. Okay. Mm, sometimes when I'm working with these nodes, I, I, I make sure not to change my view because this way I kind of lose orientation of the nodes and it looks like everything got put in the middle. Okay, so now we have those center nodes. You're going to notice it should line up with the node that we made or be very close to. There's a little bit of difference um, to the node that we made at the center of the pins. Okay, so let's do a spider. Our source node is the center node. Our target are the outer edges. I'm going to get rid of my CAD and again use that edge feature. Okay, so this is on the big frame and choose all of those and RB to it and give it a, a new name and a new element type and, and that's all set. And we'll do it again just here. Uh, we make sure we grab the right source node. Uh, we have a target node out here. Um, all the edge nodes again. Okay, that looks like it worked and give that an apply with a new collector. Okay, great. So I now I have my two spiders, the one for the big frame, the one for the small frame, and uh, I think essentially everything is all set. Now, let's do a check. So I'm going to turn on those three spiders, and they should be, if this is done correctly, those three spiders should line up, uh, this front spider should line up with the spider of the big frame, this uh, middle spider, uh, let me get a good grab of it, uh, okay, this uh, middle spider should be connected to the gear spider, okay, and this, uh, this uh, spider to the pin should be connected to um, the spider of the small frame. Okay, so another question. Okay, we know the gear and pin are connected, but are the big frame and small frame connected to the pin right now? And the answer is no, because we have, yeah, we have two different spiders. We have, okay, this top one for the pin and this top one for the big frame, but we have nothing in between the two. Okay, so let's, let's, I'm going to hi highlight that guy and let's work just with the big frame just for a minute. Okay. So, we'll have to ask the question, how do we make this connection? It's very important between connecting this node and this node. Okay, well, we want a physical relationship to exist between these two nodes. We want that the pin rotates around, um, or that the big frame, this spider, rotates um, around the center or uh, relative to the pins. So, what we're going to do is we're going to weld these two together, but instead of having one node here in the center, we're going to have two. Okay, and the idea is that one of the nodes remains attached to this spider, but the duplicate node, which is in the identical location, actually spiders out um, to this uh, to this spider. Okay, it's connected to the spider, so you have the spider, this spider, and this spider both coming to po uh, going to this uh, two different nodes at the same point. So again, this spider is and this spider are going to each two different nodes at the same location right here, and in between those two nodes. We're going to connect those two nodes with a C bush. Okay, a C bush allows you to define the stiffness in all degrees of freedom, and that's how we're going to allow a rotation of the pin spiders um, around the big frame, or, or the other way around. Okay, so we have to keep in mind that there are going to be two nodes here, and it's a good idea to kind of mark down what is this node number. So I'm going to go ahead and write this on my page. I have 50988, and no, you cannot label nodes other than numbers. Okay, so I know 50988 is connected to this spider, and one little cool test you can do is this one on the top right. It's called Show Adjacent. You just click on the node you want, uh, you're interested in seeing, and you hide everything it's connected to, and when you give it apply, it should show. So that shows that the node that I selected is adjacent to or connected, physically connected to this spider. Okay, so we were talking, and we were saying there's going to be two nodes here in the center, one that's already connected to the spider, one that branches out to this spider. Let's first things first go ahead and create that duplicate node. What I'm just going to do is um, insert node trans, uh, well, I'm sorry, edit node uh, translate, and I'm going to click that center node, and I'm going to make a copy, so make sure this is copy and translate, and I'm going to make sure the distance is zero. Okay, so that means it makes a duplicate at the exact same location. So now if I hover my mouse over this point, um, I should get two nodes, 50988, which I wrote down as being connected to the spider, and 5099, which is connected to nothing right now. But the idea is that we make a 1D connection where that new node, okay, so I wait for the box to show up, this new node, not this one, if you write this, they're going to be locked up, you don't want that. you got to use this node, which is not connected to this uh, original node. Okay, so click that, 
and my target node will be the center of this spider. There's only one node there. Okay, and I'm going to make it an RB2 and apply. And you can notice that now I have an actual physical connection going on and off between these two spiders. Okay, let me just see where I'm going. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have these, uh, we now have a physical connection uh, between these two spiders, and now th we need to define a C bush between these two. So it's the same process. We do a 1D connection, but we're going to do a C bush. Okay? And we choose these two outer nodes, 50990 uh, and 50988. Um, uh, the order in this case doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just going to click those two and give it an apply, and you should see a little SP letter show up. And I think if I check or uncheck that, you should see that connection. Okay, so then now um, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, but on the other side. Okay, so again, I already have a node there in the middle, but I'm going to go ahead and insert a node. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm going to uh, make a duplicate node right here in that center node by copy and translating a distance of zero in all directions. Give it an apply, and I'm going to double check and hold my mouse over there. See, there are, in fact, two nodes. Uh, 89 is the older one, so that must be the one connected to the spider. 91 uh, is the higher, obviously. So let's go ahead and make um, the rigid connection between this spider and this bottom spider, making sure that I choose the new one, not the old one. And that'll be a RBE2. There it is, RBE2. And give that an apply. And you could use the same collector as the one you used on the other side. That That's no problem. But don't forget that we still have two nodes there that are not physically connected. So I need to go in there and uh, choose the 50991 and choose the 50. Um, uh, that's the only other one to choose. So, oh, I have to change targets. Okay. And this time it's going to be a C bush again. And give that an apply. Okay, so now we have it um, pretty much all set. This spider is rigidly connected to the small frame. And it is connected to this spider, which is rigidly connected to the pin. Okay, and the connection between these two spiders is done right here in the two duplicate nodes with a C bush. And now let's let's go take a look at that C bush and see what kind of properties we can define. So just like I said, C bush can define the stiffness in any degree of freedom. So here's a good quiz question. If I want rotation around the Z axis, what will be my stiffnesses? Okay, that's all the hints I'll give on that topic. We talked last time about what is the difference if the stiffness is 1e e to the 8, what that means, or if the stiffness is 0. So maybe one of the quiz questions will be, uh, will load be transferred um, across a stiffness of 0 or a stiffness of 1e e to the 8? Okay, so this is kind of the conceptual questions that I'm looking to ask to make sure everyone gets um, this big picture. Okay, so let's make sure that we have all those little spiders in the right spots. Make sure I don't have any other duplicates going on. There should still be one more. Okay, so there's two in the center for the pin, uh, the outer one for the gear. And it looks like we're all set. Okay, so we're ready to go ahead and do some uh, um, flipping. So we're going to just copy and reflect things to the other side. And I want to ask, we need to grab everything. Okay, so this looks right. We're going to do insert element copy and reflect. We're going to grab um, everything, uh, but I'm going to actually, before we do that, I'm going to take a look to see, because I, I did insert some new nodes, and I, I did do one or two um, translates. I'm going to see if I got any duplicate nodes um, along the way. So just choose everything. Say show duplicate nodes. In fact, there are some, and of course, they're on the spiders that we translated. Okay, let me go to a wireframe and double check. Okay, now one more thing I want to show. I'm going to uh, again ask the show duplicate nodes. Give that an apply. And you're going to see that it says there are 58 candidates, but there are four skipped. So those four, NX is very smart. It knows, because I made the C bush uh, connection between these two, it knows to ignore these nodes. They are duplicated, but they have a purpose because they actually have a connection in between the two. But these have no connection. So NX knows that these are um, you know, somewhat accidental duplicates and we want to get rid of them. And again, choose all these nodes. Show duplicate nodes. And all those 58, that's OK. Um, and I know it's going to skip those four, the first two in that spider and the second two in this spider. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it to merge and give that an apply.
Okay, so now if I do another show duplicate nodes, it should say there are none except the four that we know something's going on in between them. Okay, so that all, all looks great. Okay, so now everything's a little cleaner. Let's go ahead and do that, um, that um, reflection. So insert node, copy, reflect, choose everything. Um, and then the exact same process. Just choose one outer node here and give it a normal and give it an apply. And great, see, so see how much, t how much time we, we just saved. We, we recreated all the spiders and everything that, that should go to the frames. Now, kind of a good theoretical question is, if I do show duplicate nodes again, will the nodes on this outer spider, the ones that go to the small frame and the big frame, will they be duplicate? Okay, again, again, this is another good quiz question. Maybe one of the, what I'll do for the quiz is actually do some maneuvers and get to the point where I'm about to run the uh, model check and I'm going to ask everyone before we see the results what, what would be expected. So we're going to apply and uh, we expect obviously the, the, the same 67 that, that showed up when we mirrored the pin without the spiders. So I know that it's talking about those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give, um, give it a, uh, an 8, uh, I'm sorry, an apply. And uh, one more thing I want to show again is that if I do do show duplicate nodes, it says it found 67 and it knew to skip 8. So again, that's two from the big frame, two from the spider, two from the, uh, I'm sorry, two from the big frame, two from the small frame, and again, two from the small frame and two from the big frame on the other outer side. Okay, so it's grabbed the right ones and it knows to merge the right ones. I'm going to give it an apply and I've got everything pretty much set. Okay, so last thing is we need just to just reflect it over to the other side. Now, question, if I'm going to reflect this, should I reflect the spiders going out to the frames? The answer is no, because um, they kind of, they're circumferential. They go all the way around, so there's uh, no need to hold on to these. So I'm going to, um, this will be a lot easier if I name them. Okay, but there you are. I'm going to go ahead and just reflect all of the spiders that are within the pin and the ones that are connected to the gear as they do need to show up on the other side. So we're going to do an insert element, um, uh, copy and reflect, um, grab all these guys. I think the method we need to do is, um, let's see, um, specify a plane. Again, I need a plane, so that's talking about a geometry. So I'm going to turn on the pin so I have a geometry to interact with. And I'm going to choose that, um, that plane. Let's see if it's going to let me. Choose all those elements, choose the plane. Oh, let me choose mine. There you go. Specify a plane and specify a distance, which we all know should be 0.09. Give it an OK, and give it an Apply, and there you go. I get my mirrored um, um, pins with the spiders in them, all in the right places. Everything's uh, nice, and let's see if I put those um, spiders of the big and small frame back up so we yet reach another question. Will there be duplicate nodes? So you can answer to yourself, but let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Insert nodes. Uh, show duplicates, don't merge um, before seeing them. And another thing Dr. Zarda suggested, which is a very good idea, is before you merge nodes, it's not a bad idea to save your model. Because um, I don't know if you can see any, um, I don't know if you can undo any merged nodes. Okay, so everything showed up, uh, no problem. We have no, no nodes merged. And we still, let's see, we, s we should still have the duplicates um, in here. Um, so I'm going to give that a double check. Okay, did I move? Looks like I got a couple nodes. Let's see. I'm just trying to see where I got these guys mirrored from. Okay. undo to see where that node popped out of. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. That's the node from the gear and the node that's actually at the center center of the pins. So we have a slightly different center between the frames, sorry, the frames um, and the pins. Again, the pin is not a perfect circle um, where the frames there are. So there should be a little bit of eccentricity there, but that's no problem. We're going to take care of that um, with the connection between them. Okay, so we're going to leave it um, just at this point. Um, let me see if I can bring that reflection back on. Actually, I'm going to just redo it. 
Uh, we're going to leave this, the connections on the pins just at this point. So essentially at this point we have um, we have the spiders in the right places, but we don't have the constraints defined um, for those connections. So I'm going to turn on the pins here and just redo that last step. Nine. Okay. Apply. Okay. So there you go. We have the spiders, and we have the spiders for all the frames.